Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit of a swatch test on this Wet n Wild Unicorn. I absolutely thought this box was beautiful and I am a sucker for a great campaign. Um, this box is just stunning. So in fact, I will probably be keeping that box just because it's so cute. So inside we have a highlighter unicorn brush. We have three highlighters, we have two lippies, and we have some loose pigments. So let's get started having a little fun with what is included in here. Okay, so I kind of set down my base and of makeup this morning using a little bit of purples on the eye and some nudes on the cheeks just to give me a good base to kind of swatch these because some I'm gonna swatch on my hand but some I'm actually going to apply on my eyes. So, not sure where we want to get started. Um, I guess we can start with the highlighter and let me get out my new pretty unicorn glow, glow highlighting brush. How cute is this? They've really come out with some cute brushes lately in the makeup world. I mean, that's just so adorable. Okay, so for today's makeup, I'm probably going to go ahead and use the Everlasting Glow as my highlight. So let's just kind of use our little fan brush going back and forth. I'm going a little back and forth a little bit more in the beginning just to make sure we don't have any kind of sealant on because I know they sometimes will put a sealer on highlighters so that they don't break in transit and for anyone that knows or has gotten a highlighter that broken transit you wish they would have sprayed some more of that sealant on okay so we are just going to go right over the cheek here Ooh. and it does pick up the white pink and um, tannish gold so you really get a pop of color there check that out boom so these are pretty Wow, these are pretty pigmented. So we're gonna kind of swirl this around. Holy crud, this is some, um, that's not swirling ladies and gentlemen. So just the first dab there, we have got a lot of highlighter. <laughs> okay, well we're gonna go ahead and let me dust this brush off. We're gonna go ahead and try the bronze over the rainbow. So this one that I just put on is called Everlasting Glow. They are not kidding. Check that out. All right, so we're gonna put um, bronze over the rainbow. We're gonna go ahead and do this on the other cheek. So, I, oops, I've cleaned off my brush. I have this one. So again, we're just gonna go over the top, kind of getting that protective glaze off and swipe. Oh my goodness. So if you love champagne or gold, that this one is definitely gonna be for you. Um, if you love pinks, I would definitely go with this one. So um, a whole lot of glowing going on. Do, 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 do. Okay, now you know why I don't sing. I got a horrible voice. Then next, we are gonna go with um, Rainbow Highlighter. This is called Unicorn Glow. So unfortunately, I don't have three cheeks. I could put this on. I've cleaned off my Unicorn brush, and it, we're gonna kinda do the same thing here. We're gonna rub off that top layer. I've now rubbed off the top layer. And we're gonna use that on the hand. So for some reason, maybe it's just because it's not on my cheeks, but this one doesn't pick up the colors as well as either the bronze, the bronzer over the rainbow or the everlasting glow. So that's kind of interesting. I was expecting that to be in your face as far as the highlighters go, but that's okay, that's okay. Next, um, we've got a loose pigment. This is in kind of a lilac color. It's actually called Pegasus Flutter. Love that name. And then we have Mythical Dreams in this darker purple here. And for a bluish kind of 
shift. This one is called Unicorn Wishes. So on my eyes, I'm gonna put um, a bit of this loose pigment on the purple on one of my eyes and we are gonna dab the other one on the other eye. So I'm using this like a salt shaker on my finger, which not a lot's coming out. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna use this on, dab on my eye. Maybe I just didn't get enough. Okay, so dabbing on my eye did okay. Now let's try it with a flat brush. Okay, I would recommend using your a flat brush to dab that on instead of your finger. So that actually came out really pretty in lilac. Love, love, love that color. It's so bright. Okay, next we're gonna do the Mythical Dreams. This one's in purple and we're gonna stick this on the other eye to see how this one does. And since we know it works better with a brush, we are going to use a brush. So I'm kind of just um, doing like a salt shaker on that product also. And then we're going to pick it up this on the eyelid also. So very pretty kind of color there. Um, it's a little bit deeper, but not too far off of the lighter color. So in the bottles, um, they may look a little bit darker from one another, but actually application on my eyes, they, they do look pretty similar. This one is of course brighter, but um, both of them are absolutely pretty. So I'm glad that I got to use kind of a purpley eye today to kind of try these. Um, I don't have a third eyeball, so we're gonna use this loose pigment. We're gonna do the same thing except swatch that on. And this one's really pretty. So let's hope it swatches as pretty as it looks. Oh wow, so that does look very, very pretty. So pretty, I may have to do another blue eye. So those are the three of the loose pigments. Now we're gonna go into the lips and I'm just going to dab off, I have a bit of lip gloss on. So as my base color, I used the Melted Matte and this one was called Feeling Myself. So I'm gonna do a swatch of what says Immortal Tears. And that's a, like a real pretty pearl, pearlescent kind of color. So let's see how that does on the lip. So that went right over the top and um, if you can't tell, it that's basically what it did. It gave a nice pearl look. So I'm gonna swatch that also on my hand so you can kind of see the pearl shift. So that, I think this would be great if you wanna spice up a boring lipstick and give it a little bit more glow. That one works. Now let's see how the Unicorn Soul does. This one is in blue. And how pretty is a unicorn soul? Come on now. All right, let's see how that does over the top of this lipstick. So this one adds kind of a purplish um, blue hue where the top one did more opal. So again, a really pretty, um, I love how that made the lipstick look. So let me, do another little swatch here. Let me get my lipstick off of the Unicorn Soul. And we will swatch this against my hand. And look how pretty that is. Absolutely gorgeous. So, just out of curiosity, I'm going to take the Unicorn Tears from Too Faced and I wanna see how that, cause that also looks kinda blue, 
how that does right next to it. So basically I'm seeing a dupe for the Unicorn Tears, or which is Too Faced. Um, I think the, the Unicorn Soul looks very similar and price wise, you know there's a big difference in price. So if you can't afford the Unicorn Tears, but you still want the Unicorn Flare, then I would say go with Wet n Wild's Unicorn Soul. All right, y'all, so this is basically the end of the swatch test for Wet n Wild's Unicorn. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I couldn't wait to do a purpley eye look just so I could play with the pigments and, um, of course, the lipsticks and the highlighters. I think all of them are great, especially for the price. So very, very impressed with the quality of these considering their price compared to their um, high-end brands. So, um, if you haven't had a chance to pick up the Unicorn Collection, I would say go ahead and do it. Again, the price point for what you get in product is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't had a chance, I'd I want to thank on. you so much for joining my channel today. If you have any thoughts or comments about the Unicorn Collection, if you've tried it, tell me what you think. Are you happy with the pigmentation? Are you happy with the shine and the brilliance? And does it remind you of a beautiful unicorn? Also, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please do so. Or invite, invite me or let a friend meet me. I would love to meet your friends. Anyways, I hope you have a beautiful day. And as always, we have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.